Hi, my name is Coco with BlackFilm.com, and I'm here with Joyce Coleman Sampson, executive producer of Fox Soul, Aaron Wasatile, co-executive producer of Fox Soul Screening Room, and Luke LaWall, founder of HBCU Buzz, and we're here to discuss the HBCU Screening Room Pitch Contest. Thank you guys for joining me. Awesome. Thank you for having us. Thank you so much. I, I actually want to start uh, with you, Luke. Uh, what is HBCU Buzz? Whew, I mean, I feel like that's a basic but loaded question. <laughs> um, I started HBC Buzz in my dorm room and it started off as like a straight up media company. And now HBC Buzz is uh, not just the largest HBC media brand in the country, but it's also the most sought after HBC agency. So we're um, a load of media and uh, agency, if that makes any sense. Makes sense. Does sound like it's a lot. <laughs> and oh, by the way, shout out to HBCUs because I, I did attend an HBCU. So I'm really, really excited about this for all of you because, you know, it speaks to my interests. Um, I want to kick it back to, to Joyce and Aaron. Uh, why was uh, Luke's initiative, why was it such a good fit for Fox Soul? Um, I would say because we have, uh, we, we, we see a need to bring into the fold uh, the demographics of the HBCU family. Mm -hmm. And when Laquita brought this idea to us, uh, or at least downloaded us that they existed, um, we immediately jumped on board to uh, see if, if we can form a partnership so that we can get the word out and do this collaboration to reach out to the HBCU community to let them know that there's an opportunity here for you, especially filmmakers, you know, to be able to showcase their work uh, on our, our platform. Mm -hmm. So it was something that, you know, um, has been, there's been a lot of discussion about um, how do we do this? You know, how do we go about it? And when this came our way, it just seemed like a perfect fit. You know, it's a win-win situation. Great. And, and, oh, I'm sorry, go ahead, Aaron. I'm sorry. Oh yeah. I was just going to add to that. So we're in the second season of our, of our show. Uh, it's a weekly show uh, hosted by the A Fox called Fox Old Screening Room. So every week we, we highlight and showcase black filmmakers from around the globe. We usually showcase two or three short films, and then it's followed by an interview with Vivica and the filmmaker. And so we kind of just created this tentacle off of that program and wanted to celebrate the next wave of filmmakers at HBCUs. And so we created this pitch contest, basically like giving them the opportunity to create a, a one minute pitch for a short film that they'd like to create. Um, with the pitches being as original and creative as possible. Um, and then the winner gets $5,000. So we, we literally created this as tailor-made just for HBCU students. So we felt like it was a natural partnership to, uh, to uh, connect with HBCU mm -hmm. Buzz. Awesome. And, and how would anybody go about that? You know, one of these HBCU students go about actually uploading their pitch and sending it to you? Yeah, it's a really easy process. It's, it's on our um, Foxhole page, foxhole.tv, and there's a screening room um, and a HBCU tab right on the left-hand side, and they can click a button. It takes all of two minutes to, uh, to submit the video. So mm -hmm. um, the contest runs through May 1st, so all HBCU students, and, and this is the contest is really just for current students. Um, it runs for another three and a half weeks, so if they haven't got their video in yet, still plenty of time. So they pitch the video, they get the pitch video, and then uh, from the pitch, you know, whomever the winner is, they are able to take their idea to the next level where you actually help them create the film or? Yeah, so it's, we just give them $5,000 cold hard cash. Oh, so, wow. okay. and, and, that's to, and that's to create, I mean, they, ideally it's for them to create that short film that, they, right. that they're passionate about. But I mean, frankly, if they want to spend it on pizza or, or student loans, <laughs> um, it's totally up to them. Yeah, it's. I mean, yeah. I think I think the prize is around just like highlighting, showcasing their work because you know within our community, and that's part of the reason why I started HBC Buzz is there's so much tree falling in the woods in our community. And a lot of times, you know, you have student uh, artists or filmmakers that are so dope, but don't really get the attention that they deserve. And I think that's where the beauty of this campaign comes in, where it's just like, we're trying to find those diamond and rust. We're trying to give them attention, highlight them, award them for all their beautiful work. Mm -hmm. And so who's on the judging panel? 
Fox All Producers and, and Luke is on our judging panel as well, representing mm -hmm. HBCU Buzz. Mm -hmm. So, I mean, I know Aaron had brought up that, you know, you're looking for somebody to have a really, really creative pitch. I mean, that, that's, that's, a, that's a high stakes kind of thing. You know, what is, what is creative? Like wearing an umbrella hat or? <laughs> it, it, could, it could be anything. Like we, we really didn't put too many restrictions or parameters on the contest. Right. We want to really let their creativity run the one minute pitch. So they can they could have actors, it has to be non-professional actors, but they could right. have actors. If if it's an animated short, they can do something along those lines. If they, if it's a really important, impactful, meaningful story to them about their family, and it's a short film about that that they want to shoot, they can literally just sit in front of the camera for a minute and, and share what the concept is. They it literally is completely up to them how they right. want to convey the the idea for their film. So. This is great. I mean, I'm really ex excited for these uh, students. You know, I, I wish I was back in school. I'd try to pitch something. <laughs> yeah, I feel like the opportunities are getting better every single year. Like I went back to my campus last week and they have mm -hmm. a whole new entrepreneurship building. And I'm like, wow, I did biochem undergrad. Imagine if I had a building for entrepreneurship, right? <laughs> That, no, that, that, that's great. Um, um, Luke, I mean, how excited are you though? I mean, like, I'm just looking at how you, like you said, you started this in your dorm room. Now you're here with Fox Soul execs, you know, in this moment, like, what is this? I just want you to be real, just honest about it. I mean, to be honest, it's the same thing I was doing on campus, finding mm -hmm. cool people, creating articles, telling their stories. We're just doing it on a bigger level. Mm -hmm. um, and it's funny because when you think of all the opportunities HBCUs have to offer, it, it makes sense for Fox to want to invest. Mm -hmm. And to be honest, I think when you think of all the wonderful things that HBC students are doing, like, yeah. Yes, we're picking a winner, but everyone that enters, I like watching, seeing their work, showcasing it, highlighting it, and that's what brings joy for me. And it's like, I remember um, I met this girl like three weeks ago that explained to me how like our article on our website showcased her business eight years ago, and that was the first like story she has, and now she has this you know, crazy press run, a press run, and like her brand is doing like millions of dollars in funding and stuff like that. And she's always telling us like HBC Buzz is the first one to like mm -hmm. give me a shout out or like highlight me or make me bigger than just my little small bubble on campus. Mm -hmm. So it's just like that's the beauty for us. That's why we love partnering with Fox Soul because it's all about finding that student that's super creative but doesn't necessarily have the opportunity to pitch on a bigger scale. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. It's just it's a it's a win win situation because you know we want to embrace you know that community and I think to even just have that opportunity I mean who would ever in a million years get the opportunity to come face to face with Vivica A Fox right. and be able to get those nuggets and those jewels and those gems of knowledge that you know she expresses with these filmmakers every time they sit down with her, you know, and to find someone that, you know, uh, wins the contest, they're going to have an even bigger opportunity to get in front of her, you know, and talk about their project once they bring it to fruition to fruition as long as they don't spend it on, you know, buying pizza. <laughs> but <laughs> I just think that this is just so tremendous and you know I'm just fascinated by the fact that we even have this show mm -hmm. and it is in its second season and we've seen so many incredible incredible young black uh gifted filmmakers and we know that they exist all over the HBC community so mm -hmm. I'm just happy to have this opportunity to work with HBCU Buzz. Yeah, no, I mean, I majored in mass comm and nobody gave me money to film anything. So, <laughs> so it a, doesn't exist. It doesn't happen mm -hmm. for our people. You mm -hmm. know what I'm saying? Those, those windows of opportunity just does not exist. So mm -hmm. this is a very huge, big thing that I think is happening. And, I, you know, Joyce, I, I really want to credit you and your team because just Fox Soul as a whole, you all have just so many different products under your umbrella and you support so many independent um, uh, individuals and their initiatives and so forth. I mean, just everything about this to me, it's just very feel good because you allow people to have their content on there and you celebrate people and it's also free to stream, no? Yeah, it's free mm -hmm. streaming, absolutely. Mm -hmm. And it's 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 unapologetically black and it's considerable <laughs> by all. And you know, we provide this content 365 days of the year. We have something like 44 plus uh viewers. Mm -hmm. We stream 
what, something like uh, 1,300 hours of programming that's inspirational and inspiring and uh, educational. Mm -hmm. um, so it, it's just, you know, for me, it, it's a safe place yes. for people to be able to come uh, and share their content and share their voice and deep dive into the stories that affect and impact and uplift our culture. Mm -hmm. So, you know, it just doesn't get any better than that. Mm -hmm. No, I truly believe that. I mean, I feel like you all are the leaders in that and just making sure that you see people and, and make sure that people are seen. You know, it's, it's really great to have that 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 backing of Fox Soul behind you. Yes, yeah. absolutely. Mm -hmm. and, and, you know, and James DeBose is, he's very adamant about making sure that we get into our community and we see what's out there and we mm -hmm. give them that vehicle to present the content that they want to present. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, absolutely. Uh, any final thoughts, Aaron? No, I, I appreciate you having <laughs> us on, on here because I mean, any exposure we can get, especially for this HBCU pitch contest, mm -hmm. we want to just provide the, the opportunity to as many kids as possible. And mm -hmm. the contest has been open for a few months, but we're kind of getting to the uh, to the final push here, three, three and a half weeks left. So yeah, yeah just want as many submissions and, um, and, and really give as many people that, that platform as possible. And Luke? Yeah, I was just going to echo what he said, the same call to action and try to get as many students involved as possible. Um, I remember when I was on campus trying to find these opportunities were not so great. So with the HPC Buzz, we're trying to shove it down people, emails, social, their inbox, everything, and just try to get them to apply and engage. So um, my last thoughts would just be do the exact same thing. Um, if you're watching this, if you're listening, apply, apply. Um, we're creating more opportunities for HBC students to showcase their work and that's it. Mm -hmm. and, Ms. And one, and, sorry, one last thing. Um, I just want to remind everyone to watch Fox Hole Screening Room. Uh, we have a new episode tonight, 5 Pacific, oh, 8, 8 Eastern. Um, we're showcasing three, uh, three great films. One of them is, is by an HBCU student. Um, but yeah, we, one is celebrating National Deaf History Month, and we've got another one, um, a really poignant immigrant story, and then and then uh, one other about drug addiction. So really amazing films uh, streamed tonight on, on Fox Soul, 5 Pacific, 8 Eastern. And and I'm sorry. No, I just have to say, like, I'm so blown away by the talent of these students, the mm -hmm. depth the breadth and the production quality and the storytelling is so rich and so mm -hmm. like like you're watching like a Tyler Perry movie mm -hmm, or something. Mm -hmm. I mean that's how good they are you know so I'm just so happy that you know we have this platform for them to show their work and I just want the word to get out there so that everybody can just come on board and you know <laughs> share share with us. You know what also makes me happy? I love like, I love Vivica A. Fox, you know, come on now, who doesn't? But um, I love that someone like that, that doesn't necessarily have to reach back. She doesn't have to dedicate her time. She doesn't have to, you know, to put so much effort into the screenings that someone like that makes it a priority in her life to, yep. to, to, to you know, to, to go ahead and make sure that other people are seen and that they have that visibility. That is a very beautiful thing from a very beautiful person. I appreciate that. Absolutely. She is all about, and you'll hear her a lot of times when she's sitting down with these filmmakers, you know, talk about the importance of, of paying it forward and giving yes. back and sharing I, the wisdom and knowledge, you know, and I think, I think quite honestly, that's what sustains her as a beautiful person and a gifted talent, you know, exactly. she, she has that depth to her. Mm -hmm. You don't, you don't sustain a career that long, you know, without being that kind of person. Absolutely. She's a class act. Mm -hmm, for she's sure. a class act. Yeah, she's mm -hmm. a legend. Yeah, she's, she's a legend. <laughs> yes, yes, for sure. Once again, my name is Coco with BlackFilm.com, and I'm here with Joyce Coleman Sampson, executive producer of Fox Soul, Aaron Wassertile, co executive producer of Fox Soul Screening Room, and Luke LaWall, founder of HBCU Buzz. And we're, we're here, we were here to discuss the HBCU Screening Room pitch contest. I'm so happy I got to talk to you all today, and I, I'm, I'm just super excited for the lucky winner that will get that $5,000. Um, again, make sure that you put in your submissions. Again, it's Aaron, it's May 1st, correct? Is the last day? That's right. Yeah, May 1st is the last day. You guys just do what you gotta do. Like I said, umbrella hats, that was my idea. It doesn't have to be yours, but <laughs> do what you gotta do, get those submissions out. Um, as you've seen, uh, Joyce is talking about how, how wonderful these submissions have been, I mean, just as, as is. So 
you know, don't be afraid to, to put in because you never know you could be chosen. And $5,000 for pizza is a great, great deal. <laughs> right. <laughs> Absolutely. Thank you all for your time. I really appreciate you. Thank you. Thank you, Coco. Take care. Bye-bye. Have a good day. If you want to see more content like this on blackfilm.com, make sure you like, subscribe, and ring that bell.